right, we're out here looking for some iceberg jackpots. Looking for a really big base to raid on an iceberg. So there are some smaller bases up here, like the she metal one, but okay. Yeah, I'd say that one's about medium size. We're looking for something huge, like takes up the whole iceberg. Cargo ships out here too. Two by two with roofs that can't have much in it. Oh, looks like there was an iceberg base out here. He got hit pretty hard. It's all degraded and stuff. Alright, so we didn't have too much luck out there on the icebergs. Maybe we'll go inland and see if we can find a bigger base to raid. But these guys look like they got hit pretty hard. There's like four bases here too. Alright, this one's decaying. Yeah, so I guess this whole community got hit. Maybe not this clan base. He's got shotgun traps still. You know, this would be a pretty good raid if we could do this one if it's not degrading. Let's hop in here real quick just to make sure. Ooh, yeah. Looks like someone was all over the space. He's got armored doors in there, though, and a turret. If they didn't raid this, which it's not degrading, I kind of want to hit it still. Shotgun traps there. Okay, it looks like they might not have hit it. Yeah, this actually looks good. So it just has a bunch of ladders all over the top, but looks to me like it's good to raid. I'll do another check real quick, but yeah, it looked okay. Let's go ahead and hit this thing. I'll build out, jump out, and I'll come back here. Some explosives. So I brought a repair bench. As you can see by my M2, I've been doing tons of raiding with this thing. Can only go up to 50% health right now, so we're definitely gonna have to repair that. So here's the front door. It's sheet metal and uh, armored right there. I think I could raid this one from the top a bit easier. It is only th like three stories than neck, so. If we can go in on the window floor, I think we'll be good. Alright, so we're in here nice and safely. Just need to figure out which one of these goes downwards. And this is sheet metal. I could take them both, I guess. Uh, it's kind of costly. I'll go for this single one. I'm guessing that one's going to go down. Definitely going to be watching for shotgun traps on this base. It has like 10 of them just on the top. So can this be going down? Yep. It's the right one. It's a ladder too. There's no hatch. Not very secure. You can see the garage there though. So far, like, all sheet metal, but you can see it's... Is that an armored? That's a garage, I think. I think it's gonna go, like, around a bit, so I'll just drill straight down here. Hopefully we don't run into an armored ceiling. Alright, so if we can get no half floors and no armored floors, that'd be beautiful. And what do you know? <laughs> half freaking floor armored. That sucks. Alright. I'm going to finish this wall off and then I guess just stick to the path because this is a pain in the butt. Oh my god, they were all open. Dude, I got screwed over. I could have just 
I could have just came through here. They were all left open. If I would have known. Oh well, we'll follow this hatch. Okay, garage and a half floor. Yeah, so I can take both these out. Alright, I've got something armored down there. Is that foundation? Missing door? Or maybe it's open? Okay, so... It's going down here. This is scary though. These guys might have a shotgun trap set up. No? Explosive ammo. 90 rounds and an L96. AK. Okay, so there's no trap. This is foundation. Another L96. So they have a lot of guns. I think about to get some sulfur loot here. The question is, which door do I go through next? It's looking like the loot might be right behind this armored thing. All the main loot. I mean, I did get a good amount of stuff already. Oh man. All right, we'll keep going. Got pretty high security now. Okay, more boxes, and looks like this is going into the armored. Eventually, three boxes. Nothing there. Oh man, look at that! So it's going like all the way around, I bet, and then into the square. If I would have blown the top off of that, if there was just one ceiling, I think I would have been in loot. But we'll just keep going. Gonna have to freaking repair my M2 again. Thirty thousand metal in that furnace. Oh baby, look at that! It's still going. Now it's a two by one armored loot room. Somebody's out there. I think we're okay. It's just a semi-auto rifle. Boxes. We're finding loot as we go, and there's a repair bench here. Thank you. Down to about 400 ammo though, and haven't even started going in here. I assume there's an armor door to the entrance here. Sheet metal? Bag says base, that's a good sign. What? So we're legit gonna have to get more stuff. This space was incredible, to say the least. The design. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Can I get some C4? Nope. Nope. Bunch of ammo. I just went around in a freaking circle. I think I. This is like the front door right here, so that's pretty sad. Alright, we'll come back here with a few more explosives. Take this final armored door out. Should be one or two more doors to the loot, and let's see what they got. Alright, believe it or not, this is every last piece of sulfur I have 750 ammo, 2C4, 4 rockets four satchels so i think i played myself really hard on this front door like here's the front door i think i went all the way around in a circle in there but i did run into like small loot rooms that are like under the floor on the way but this is just like an incredible base design if you were to spread out your loot we'll just go with 2c4 on this armored door get this over with been here too long Definitely did not raid this thing efficiently. That's fair to say. Let's see if we can get some profit. It's gonna be rough. More garage doors. Oh my god.
What do you know? Oh, here we go. Here's the freaking loot room. Why he only has a level 2 in there? I have no idea. TC, finally we got it. After, I don't know, thousands and thousands of ammo. So let's make this thing safe. That, there's no way I'm going to profit. 7k is sulfur in the furnace, but I feel like there's no way after how much I've used I'm going to profit. Alright, here we go. What do we got? Okay. Hazmat suits. Launchers at 10% health. That's not a good sign. This one has HV in it. Okay, he's got a good amount of components, so it's up to the TC. He's been having sulfur, though, spread around his furnaces pretty well. Here we go. Come on, baby. 36k sulfur! So, not gonna be profit. But, definitely gonna take that. So, yeah. 50k sulfur overall. That's actually not bad. Um, definitely not gonna be profit, though, because I use so freaking much on this base. <laughs> I don't know, I want to say like 8 stacks of ammo, 2 C4, 4 rockets. Yeah, it'd be very close to uh, breaking even, but this base is just incredible. I'll take this last door out for the sake of it, but I doubt they're going to have any more. Yeah, that just goes on the path from where I was if I would have gone in there. Would have been so much cheaper, but I went all the way around. This base design though, very smart. Props to the dude building this. Uh, I think more people should build bases like this. It's very nice. So here's basically everything. 50k sulfur, that really helps after using so much stuff. Components, good amount of components, just probably not much profit there, if any.